Good morning. It's Thursday, the 28th of April. This is Coffee with God. Got a decent cup of coffee here. And if you have your Bibles, turn to Jeremiah chapter 15. We're going to look at verse 19. Jeremiah 15, verse 19. Mm. Awesome cup of coffee. Now the context of, of Jeremiah, he's a prophet from his youth, raised up sorry, called by God to be a prophet to the nations. And unfortunately, he has a bad message. He talks about the judgment and the lack of repentance of the people of Israel. There's other prophets that go around talking about peace, peace, yet he comes with a harsh message of God's judgment on his people. Very, very harsh words. And in chapter 15, he brings the judgment And he says, judgment must come. And then he prays from verse 15 through 18, he prays because his heart's just overwhelmed with this message that he gives to his people. And, but he basically says to God, you can see it for yourself. Your words were found and I ate them and your words became for me a joy and the delight of my heart. For I've been called by your name, O Lord God of hosts. He goes on to say, he did not sit with the merrymakers, etc. Then the Lord answers him. And this is an interesting answer. This is an answer I want you to think about today. If you return, then I will restore you. Before me, you will stand. And if you extract the precious from the worthless, you will become my spokesman. They, uh, for their part, may turn to you. But as for you, you must not turn to them. And there's an incredible calling uh, that God just reminds Jeremiah and says, listen, let's work from the bottom back up. He says, listen, you don't go to them. You don't become like them. They need to turn to you. You need to be the example that they need to turn to. You don't fit into to their majority. The majority must align with the minority with you. Then he says, if you extract the precious from the worthless, and as, he, as Jeremiah was going through the country, he was being exposed to the depravity, to the sinfulness, to the lack of obedience, to the lack of repentance, to the willful rebellion against God. And he, he looked on people and saw that their lives were meaningless and worthless. And, and here God says, if you extract the precious from the worthless, you will become my spokesman. And my friends, we talk in New Testament, we're talking about the grace of Jesus Christ available to all of mankind. He died for the lost, the least, the lonely. He died for the worthless. He died for those who who are chasing after emptiness and things that can't fulfill, fleeting pleasures. And as we walk around and we we see this, if we're able to see the worth in the worthless, if we're able to see the precious in that which the rest of society has written off, then we can become God's spokesman. Just think how powerful that statement is. And then if you return, then I will restore you before me, you will stand. Um, Let's just keep every morning remembering that this word becomes our foundation. The Lord Jesus Christ is our reason to go out and uh, we need to remind ourselves of our faith and fight for our faith and stand in our faith ons moet terugkeer na die Here toe keer op keer op keer ons moet nie opgee op die Here nie in die midde van wat baie mense hulle eie ding doen en doen wat reg is in hulle eie oë en die verlusting van hulle harte leef hulle uit sonder 'n gewete voor God moet ons altyd terugkeer na die Here toe ons moet net bly op sy woord staan, ons moet net sy waarheid aanvaar en dit uitleef, en soos wat, het ons, do, soos wat ons dit doen, sal ons voor hom kan staan, en hy sal ons staan daar hou. So in the middle of incredible temptation and testing, we need to realize that our strength and our stand comes from the Lord, and nothing else. And he just reminds Jeremiah here, listen, you need me uh, if you can continue to see 
the precious in the worthless and if 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 you will not compromise and go to their standard but but, but keep the standard and let them come to you uh, there's so much reward and so much blessing um, verse 20 you can read it but it's then i'll make you to this people a fortified wall of bronze and though they might fight against you they will not prevail over you for i am with you to save you and deliver you declares the lord nothing nothing that this world or people throw at us will overcome us because the lord will fight for us the lord will make us a wall of bronze impenetrable and unbreakable and that's the promise that's the prayer that i have for you this thursday um, yesterday was freedom day but let's walk in the freedom of jesus christ every single day knowing that he's our strength he's our ability to stand as we seek to do his will amongst many who aren't seeking to do that let's be the individual who stands up and stands out uh, and let's not bow down let's not uh, release our authority to the majority keep remember i've said it how many times you plus god are a majority don't bow to the other majority let them rather turn and come to your standard because you have jesus christ and you come from the lord have a wonderful wonderful thursday may the lord bless you if you have time come and have a cup of coffee with me let's talk about these things 